All right, welcome back to Adobe Muse CC. In this tutorial, we're actually going to publish our site. So at this point, what you could do is you could preview your site and just make sure you know that everything works okay. Uh, as you can see under my portfolio, I have this video page here. But uh, otherwise, you know, once you're ready to go, there are three options to publishing. Now you can find them under the Publish menu here or under uh, File. And you can see upload to FTP host, uh, publish to Business Catalyst, and export as HTML. So again, in the drop-down menu, you have these three options. So Business Catalyst, if you have uh, basically through Adobe a Business Catalyst account, you can do that. I don't have one, so I can't really show you this. FTP host, once you click on that, if you have your own uh, FTP server, basic a web host site, you basically follow the instructions here put in the server address, username, password, etc. Uh, again, I, I'm not going to show you this route because it's just a little bit more in-depth. The last way is export as HTML. And this is the uh, the quickest, easiest way to, to go about this. So when you click export as HTML, basically you need to create a URL for this. So I'm going to put in here um, zombiesite.com. <laughs> And then uh, they need a location. So if you click in here, uh, what I'm going to do is go to the desktop. And I've created a folder here. Basically, what's going to happen is it's going to uh, send all this stuff to this. So this publish zombie site, I called it. Uh, and I click select folder and then click OK. And what will happen is basically uh, Muse will render out uh, all the files that are necessary, HTML and so forth. and um, Looks like uh, there's a, a error with the Yahoo account, um, but I can click OK to just keep going forward with that. So uh, let's check this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to actually uh, Dream. Well, I can go first to uh, the file management system here and go to that folder and let's we'll take a look at it. Uh, let's see here. So I'm on the desktop. And we are looking for the published zombie site. So in here you can see all the HTML files, the about, the contact, index, etc. Uh, the CSS, even images. So it basically has duplicated all that information here. Here's your CSS um, and scripts, uh, which are JavaScripts that are basically populated from uh, Adobe Muse, which is kind of cool. But now you can actually edit these through Dreamweaver. So I just want to open it up so you can see that. Uh, here I am in Dreamweaver CC 2017. And uh, the window screen is ask, asking me uh, some information here. Um, but now I, can, I should be able to go to um, after I choose a theme here and the workspace. Uh, which is really annoying. They have these little pop-up things that it's allowing me to choose. Oh, here I can X out. <laughs> so now let's go file and then go open. As soon as I click on it here, get a little delay here. File open. And basically I'm going to choose from the desktop and look for that uh, published zombie site. So let's open up the index and go ahead and click open. So here it is, it's, it's actually opening, it's taking a little bit here. But as you can see, here's the actual uh, code view and the actual design view, So, uh, which is kind of interesting. I mean, you can basically um, adjust things along here. Now I'm getting lots of pop-ups because this is the, the new layout and so forth that's asking me about all these new features. But what I want you to know is you could switch the code view and edit the site. So uh, if anything I want to change in here, I can do that, which is pretty cool. So for example, the title, if I want to change the title instead of home, I could title whatever I want. And as you can see, it has lots of div IDs throughout. Um, and again, Muse has populated this whole thing. Um, if we go to the split view, or we can go to the live view and actually see the site, so all this stuff can be edited through the CSS uh, and you can see that as we click through here 
we have the site global CSS, we have the index.css. So anything that you want to adjust in here, you have that option. It's a little disorganized in terms of uh, the way it's populated. It's populated again, uh, condensed so that it's uh, it's generated by Muse. This isn't normally the way you would see code in, uh, if you generate your own site. It's a little bit crammed and basically they're saving every little bit of space possible. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to show you that you have that ability to open up. So let's go back to uh, the actual folder so we can look at this site. Go ahead and, and uh, open it up here. And what I can do is I can double click on the index and choose whatever file format I want to open it with. So I'm going to open it up with Google Chrome here. And in here is where you can test it out. So uh, pretty much everything's working. It looks like the line here is a little bit off in here. Um, but that's a, an easy enough fix. But it, everything else seems to be working right. The portfolio is there. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like just the home page especially uh, basically there's that line separation which is a little bit annoying so uh, if I look here I mean it doesn't look like anything separated so what needs to happen is it's in the, the master page basically this probably needs to come up a little bit um, or this needs to come down so let me drag that down a little bit and see if that'll solve the issue I mean, if we preview it, it's definitely going to look fine. There's no issues here in the browser. When I click home, when I click about, uh, portfolio, uh, contact. If you want to see how it will really look, the, if you go to file, you can go down to preview page and browser or preview site and browser. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click preview page and browser because it doesn't really matter because you can always click on the buttons and you're basically looking through the whole site. So here it looks fine, uh, as we can see. You know, as we scroll through here, there's not really any issues. Maybe in the portfolio page, there's a little bit of white line there. So on that one, I'd probably bring that down a, a little bit. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is uh, publishing your site in Adobe Muse CC. Uh, looks like everything's working out okay. Until next time, see you soon. Cheers.